I'm Chris Ford, Senior Project Manager for Wake County Public Schools, and this is the renovation project for Brooks Museum's Magnet. Brooks Elementary School is located in North Raleigh and sits on the intersection of North Brook Drive and Rampart Street. And it actually sits on the same site that the existing Brooks Elementary School is located. Uh, the property line itself includes about 20 acres, but because of the stream buffers, environmental impacts, and steep topography uh, on the north part of the site, only about nine acres is usable. The area here to the right on this side of the school will continue to be the bus loop. Bus students will drop off and enter the building here adjacent to the admin area. And behind me, on this corner of the building, the other side of the admin area is where parent drop-off would be the carpool loop circulating through the new parking lot. The parent loop begins off Rampart Street and you will circle around and the students will be dropped off at the main entrance. You will then circle back out and exit Rampart Street. Buses, however, will come down Northbrook Drive and drop off at the bus entrance. The front of there you see with the brick veneer is the kindergarten lane, which is the previous use for that space. It's being completely renovated with all new systems and new finishes. We're coming back in this direction is the start of the first grade wing. And the high area you see with the barrel roof will be the media center. And then here in the corner is the admin area. The bus entrance happens along this access. And when you first come in, there's a large uh, media center area that's really the pivot point of the whole building. And again, to help with the collaboration um, teaching style, we've created a large foldable glass wall that opens the media center up into a collaboration zone. Uh, but if need be, we can close that wall and this area becomes uh, more independent as a media center space. Here we're standing in the media center, and as you can see, with the barrel roof, it'll be a high volume space and it'll be very unique to most elementary schools. Uh, this also serves as a lobby space for a larger assembly area uh, when there's an event in play. But the primary purpose is to act as a security vestibule. So when uh, visitors arrive, they're forced to come through an administration space. Opposite of that is your student services area. The area behind me here is the interior portion of the administration area, which would be all of the offices and support spaces that you typically find in one of our elementary schools. Continuing down this hallway, this is our first grade wing that also has magnet classrooms, uh, teacher and student support spaces. But you can see we spread the classrooms out so that we created larger collaboration zones to help with uh, cross-pollination between each classroom. Continuing down the hallway, you enter the existing 1999 classroom building. Uh, large renovation will take place so that the transition is seamless but the program of these spaces are remaining primarily the same. So you have special needs services and kindergarten in that location. The area behind me is the first grade classroom area and the support classrooms for the first grade. Through Wake County feasibility analysis, it was determined that a majority of the existing structures at Brook Elementary School would be demolished. However, we are saving a 1999 classroom structure. As you can see behind me, this is where we join the old and the new. We have the existing kindergarten wing, which will be tied in with the new first grade wing. This is an aerial construction photo of the pro project in process. And for context, this is Rampart Street and Northwood Drive. And this is the 1999 classroom building that's to remain. You can see they've started constructing the, the classroom wing. This is the first grade wing and the media center and they're beginning on the gym on this side. This will be the interior courtyard space, and that's a long retaining wall that's gonna support the classroom functions below and above. The area we're in now is the kindergarten wing, and as you can see, this is a renovation area, and not new construction, but when all is said and done, everything will be new from floors, ceilings, windows, and all the finishes. This is the view looking back at that linking corridor in between the two classroom wings. And you can see that we tried to create a display and exhibition space on that back wall, as well as collaboration areas within the building. But our primary goal was to get student function within that courtyard area so that there could be art or 
play, or any type of curriculum that could be utilized within that space. We anticipate that this area will be utilized mostly at the end of the year uh, when the students themselves will display their end of year projects and present to the community. This whole area will open up so that the building won't feel like an inside and outside space, but rel relatively together as one. The area we're standing in now is the west end of the courtyard. We have the building that we looked at previously that's under construction, which would be, in this case, the first grade area. And then the courtyard will continue over to where you see the orange stakes, and that will be the outside of the building that will house the second and third grade upstairs and fourth and fifth grade downstairs. Because Brooks has steep topography challenges, we ended up t tucking the higher and older grade levels underneath the building. So this classroom wing is on the north side of the site, but it actually falls underneath what you saw on the first level. Uh, it includes the fourth and fifth grade rooms and again, teacher and student uh, uh, service spaces. But we've also included collaboration space and we utilize this large retaining wall for gallery and display spaces as well. This area is the fourth and fifth grade classrooms. And the wall you see here supports a portion of the second and third grade classrooms. Those classrooms will project out above these supported by steel columns installed through the length of this wing. Currently they have started grading in the back for the multi-purpose field and the work will continue until next summer when the school is scheduled to open. Brooks Elementary Museum's Magnet will be ready to receive new students in August of 2017.